guys, this is Post Production Pi. You know, in the last video, we discussed quite a bit into Lightroom's capabilities and just how powerful the software is in and of itself. But Lightroom is not without its limitations. In fact, there are significant limitations in Lightroom when comparing it to Photoshop. So that's when we need to look to Photoshop to kind of meet our needs. But you know what, when Adobe designed Lightroom to begin with, they meant for it to be used in conjunction with Photoshop. So that's why, that's why the official name of Lightroom is actually Adobe Photoshop Lightroom and not just Lightroom by itself. Now, there's two situations when we want to use Photoshop over Lightroom. I'm going to show you the first one right now. Let me pull up Lightroom. Now, if you watched the last tutorial, you're going to recognize this photo. We used some spot removal tool stuff in the last photo to show you guys some little local area connection, uh, corrections that we made. Now, the spot removal tool is powerful in Lightroom, but it's not powerful enough to deal with large areas. For example, if I wanted to remove this little area of graffiti that doesn't quite fit in with the rest of the wall art, well, the, the spot removal tool doesn't really do that great of a job of it. I have to kind of resize it. The spot removal tool, number one, is, is limited to only this circular shape. And number two, it's, it's going to be just kind of obvious that this area is photoshopped. In addition, we have to kind of click multiple times to fill up this entire area. When I unclick on it, you can kind of, it's pretty noticeable that area has been edited. Um, and, and not to mention, it's not that quick of a process. So this is one area when you're making large corrections to a photo, um, or you need more accuracy in your spot corrections, in your, in your cloning, in your healing, you really need to step into Photoshop. Okay, the other situations are when you're dealing with, uh, like say, composite work or graphical work. Um, Lightroom isn't designed to be able to, you know, really turn uh, images into graphical works of art, whereas Photoshop, you can pretty much do anything you want. The sky's the limit type thing. Um, so the first situation is a composite shot that I want to show you guys. We did this composite shot for a wedding coordination team. Now, this is the first shot. This is actually already edited. This is actually already a Photoshop file. And what this is, is because the light temperatures in this situation were so completely different, it was all over the place, we had to take uh, each individual person in that original shot, color correct on five different versions so that each girl has the right color correction, and then combine those into that one single Photoshop file. So this already has a ton of work applied to it. Next, we have our background. And the background is this image right here. This background we, we designed to make it pop, we kind of made it vibrant, really brought out the detail in it. And what we want to do is take the girls from this picture and layer onto this picture. This is something that Lightroom just doesn't have the capability to do. So our final product is this, and this is what we did through Photoshop through layering and composite work. Okay, one other situation that I want to show you guys, which kind of deals with the same type of thing, advanced graphical effects, um, is this shot. And so let me show you the original. This is our original shot in Lightroom. This is actually the original RAW file. This is from our last engagement session. And what I wanted to do this was just kind of enhance this flare that was coming through from the sun. Um, I wanted to kind of add extra beams onto it and, and you know, kind of make a little flare for it. And that's something that's just not possible in Lightroom. It doesn't, Lightroom doesn't have the ability to do these kinds of artistic effects as Photoshop does. Uh, so what I did is I took it into Photoshop and I did that. I added additional beams onto that sun. I also created a little fl uh, lens flare, in, in, which is a very common and easy to do effect in Photoshop. So, I, And once I actually finished this, I brought it back into Lightroom and applied some additional settings to it. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys to understand when it's best to go from Lightroom to Photoshop and really when you have no choice but to use Photoshop. 